Hi, in this screencast, I would be demonstrating how to authenticate SharePoint APIs with respect to Java app. In order to authenticate SharePoint APIs, there are two ways how you can do the authentication. One is using shared access key and the second one is using X509 certificates authentication. In this screencast, I would be demonstrating how to authenticate using digital certificates that is X509 certificates. So to get started, we need to first create X509 certificate which, which has public and private key. In order to do that, I have created one PowerShell script, a reusable PowerShell script. So I need to open this particular code in my PowerShell IAC. Make sure that you run the PowerShell IAC as an administrator mode. So in this particular PowerShell script, you need to pass parameter of common name. What is the start date or the date on which certificate was created? The end date, the expiry date of the certificate. If there is any existing certificate, do you want to override it or not? So force parameter indicates that. And you need to provide the password. So there are different ways how you can pass the parameter. So I will take this particular command line to execute my PowerShell script to generate those certificates. So first I need to cd into the directory where I want to generate the certificate. Now I can copy this command. I will write, I will name this as SharePoint API cert. The start date should have pattern of year, month and day. So today is 2020 06 01 and I will make it expiry after two years. And since I told the certificate would be having two types dot CER and dot PFX file. PFX file is a private certificate uh, which should not be given to any another user. It should be privately accessed by your Java application. And dot CER file is the public certificate. So I will put this password and now I will run this script. Now, as you can see, the two certificates got created with my common name. And you can see inside the directory also, two certificates got created. Now, after this creation of certificate, I need to register my app inside the Azure AD. So I will log in to the Azure AD portal.azure.com and click on Azure Active Directory. Now because SharePoint is always backed up by Azure AD. So share every authentication when the user authenticates inside SharePoint or any another Office 365 services. It always needs to have one Azure AD at the back end side. You can think about this Azure AD as an in-house active directory. So in here, 
I need to register my application. So I will go under app registrations. And I will create a new registration. I will put name as SharePoint app title. It should be of single tenant and click on register. Now after creating an app inside the Azure portal, I need to provide the permission. So when an application is accessing SharePoint, what all things it needs to have access to. So to provide the permission, you need to go under API permissions and you need to add the permission. So because I am dealing with SharePoint, so I will pick the SharePoint and there are two types of permission. One is delegated permission and the second one is application permission. Delegated permission works with user identity, meaning whoever the user is logged into the SharePoint site, depending upon the access, he will get access to the resources. And if you do not want user identity, you want to run it as a background job without having any user identity, then you need to select the application permission. Application permission is basically used for daemon apps. So inside the application permission, there is three levels of permission. I will go under site sec section and I will choose sites.read.all meaning it could read all the contents of the SharePoint site created in this tenant, but it cannot create any item or it cannot update any item inside the SharePoint site. So that's what sites.read.all permission means. So I will click on add permission. After adding the permission because it's an ad application level permission, so we need to grant the admin consent because here it's telling not granted for ITC Infotech. So I will just click on grant admin consent. Click on yes. Now admin has granted this particular permission. Now this app needs to get authenticated with SharePoint. In order to do that, I need to go under certificates and secrets. And I need to upload the certificate which I created using the PowerShell script. Please note here, the certificate should be uploaded .cer file. So I will click on upload and I will go to the same directory. I will select the CER file and click on add. Now the certificate got applied inside this particular app. So the start date as I have given today is the start date and it expires in the year 2022. So this is how you create an app registration inside the Azure AD. Now we will see how we can use this app registration inside our Java app so that it could authenticate and we are able to access the SharePoint APIs. So currently I have opened one REST client Postman REST client in which this is one of the endpoint of SharePoint that I want to retrieve the title of the SharePoint site. So it's an get request and I am pro providing that the response should be returned with JSON format. Now upon clicking on send, you see it's getting access denied. 
बिकॉज ऑल शेयर पॉइंट ए पी आईज इज अ प्रोटेक्टेड रिसोर्सेस सो नो शेयर पॉइंट ए पी आईज कैन बी एक्सेस्ड एनोनिमसली सो इन ऑर्डर टू रिमूव दिस एरर वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड द एक्सेस टोकन एंड दैट इज वाई टू गेट द एक्सेस टोकन वी हैव क्रिएटेड एन एप रजिस्ट्रेशन इन साइड एजर ए डी नाउ बिकॉज माई जावा ऐप नीड्स टू कम्युनिकेट विद शेयर पॉइंट सो माई जावा ऐप नीड्स टू नो सर्टन डिटेल्स फ्रॉम माई ऐप रजिस्ट्रेशन सो इन ऑर्डर टू डू दैट आई हैव अ जावा ऐप एंड इन साइड द जावा ऐप आई हैव वन क्लास नोन एज ऑथेंटिकेशन डॉट जावा so i need to change this property the code will be shared in the github repo so you can look into the video description and download this particular code even the code that is used to generate the certificate i will provide these all codes inside my github repo which you can see in the below description of this video so first i need to provide a client id so how to get the client id because we have registered our app so i can go under overview section here is my client id so i will copy this and i will replace this authority should be https login dot microsoft online dot com but this should be replaced by tenant id so again if i go back to my azure portal and this is my tenant id so i will copy this and i will paste it now the certificate part now this is the certificate that we have to provide the path for the pfx file not dot cer cer was responsible for uploading it inside the azure registration but now here we need to provide the physical path where dot pfx file exist so in our case it is this particular directory and the file name now once i created the certificate i provided the password to so you need to remember that password in my case it was password at the rate 1 2 and that is the same password i have provided here password at the rate 1 2 3 and the scope would be for my case it is mds joiny poc dot sharepoint dot com but in your case if you want your java app to authenticate successfully with sharepoint you need to get your domain name of the sharepoint so in my case it is mds joiny poc dot sharepoint dot com so this needs to be replaced with your sharepoint domain name after changing all these details you can say